Greece has seen a rise in racist attacks, many attributed to the far-right Golden Dawn, a party with a neo-Nazi following. Prosecutors are now cracking down on that group, charging the top leadership with running a criminal organization. They're coming down hard ever since last month's killing of an anti-fascist musician. He was stabbed, allegedly, by a Golden Dawn supporter. The head of the party, Nikos Mihal Oliokos, is now in jail, facing charges that include murder, assault and money laundering. He was one of six Golden Dawn MPs who were arrested at the weekend. Other senior members lashed out at waiting journalists as they were released pending criminal charges. <laughs> They were shouting Golden Dawn forever. When police raided the deputy leader's home, they found swastikas and chilling Hitler paraphernalia. For Prime Minister Antonis Samaras, enough was enough. This government is determined not to allow the descendants of Nazis to poison our lives, to commit crimes, to terrorize, and to undermine the foundations of the country that gave birth to democracy. Now, Golden Dawn are one of Europe's most violent far-right groups. Despite that, the group has support. It is the third most popular party in Greece, with 18 seats in the parliament. But last month's murder has sparked outrage, and thousands took to the streets, demanding the party be stopped. Despite a rash of violence attributed to Golden Dawn, why have the authorities only cracked down now? Joining me live from Athens is the Greek the Greek Public Order Minister, Nikos Dendias. Minister Dendias, welcome to the program. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. So I put that question, why is it only now that your government is taking serious steps to crack down? Some people are saying it took the death, the murder of a white Greek musician to spur you into action. Well, it, it is not accurate that the government has acted just now. Already in the hands of the judiciary, 33 uh, criminal cases do exist. What was the change now, what was the cardinal change, is that following that murder of uh, the late Pavlos Fisas, we were able to establish the full chain of command, and so we, will be, we were able to submit a report to the public prosecutor of the Supreme Court claiming, again I'm saying for the first time, that the Golden Dawn is a criminal organization. Mm -hmm. Do you think these charges will stick? Already there are some who wonder about the legality of outlawing an entire group and prosecuting it as a mafia organization. And there are others also who are worried that it will backfire and, and create more sympathy for them. Well, our, our line is clear. It has been defined by Prime Minister Adoni Samaras. What we're just doing is we're asking the judiciary to implement the law. Nothing more, nothing less. Greece has a constitution. Greece has a judicial system that is up to European standards. And the report submitted by the government and signed my, by myself asks the judiciary to implement the law. Mm -hmm. I want to put up a, a, a graphic that shows some of the troubling developments racist attacks rising by 20% in Greece back in 2012, 154 cases of racist attacks. And the same group says that already this year there have been 104 attacks. So that's the situation. It's a bad and dangerous situation. And now I want to play for you, Mr. Minister, some tape that CNN acquired of an attack on a Tanzanian community center in central Athens. Well... We are trying to oh. expect maybe the police could have given us a hand, you know, to at least uh, confront these people, uh, at least uh, arrest some people. But nothing? But nothing, of course, just, just looking at them. And uh, that's why we think that uh, the police are part of them. So, Mr. Minister, I don't know whether you could see that tape, but there's a Tanzanian community leader that says, while the mob was attacking their center, the police just stood by and did nothing. And there are people who accused the police in the past of actually allowing these attacks or even colluding with them. What are you doing to root that kind of thing out? And do you agree with that charge? 
Well, what we have been doing is we have ordered a full-scale investigation by the internal department of the Greek police. And although, and already that investigation bears fruit, I think nine or ten cases are already in front of the judiciary. And please allow me to say that we're adamant in, in our target to clean up completely the Greek police from any racist elements. So do you think that this is going to go forward? I hear you saying there are many cases. Uh, the judiciary has been instructed to investigate, and you will continue this. And obviously, the prime minister was very, very clear that Greeks cannot accept followers of Hitler and the Nazis to be, uh, to be in, in this regard. But they do have seats in parliament, Mr. Minister. Are you concerned? Because as one supporter said, the conditions that brought these people to prominence which are the unemployment, the severe uh, economic problem, the dislike of immigration, those still exist, those conditions. Well, in, in a way you're right, but please again allow me to repeat that, first of all, the Prime Minister was clear, we'll go as far as it needs. Yes, those conditions do exist, unemployment does exist, an economic crisis does exist, the Greek people, the Greek society is under considerable stress. But that is no excuse and will not be accepted as the excuse for the reappearance of a neo-Nazi phenomenon. Neo-Nazism is completely unacceptable. So the Greek society is an open society and a cosmopolitan society. We are going to face our economic trouble. We are going to go out of the crisis eventually. And at the same time, we are going to protect human rights, and the rule of law. Mm -hmm. Again, please allow me to repeat, neo-Nazism is completely unacceptable in this country. I, I hear you loud and clear, and obviously it's, it's worried many people. They've seen you know, all this violence, not just in your country, but even in other parts of, of Central Europe. Um, wh what do you think about the idea that immigrants feel unsafe in your country? What can you do to protect them beyond what you're doing in the crackdown now, but in general? Well, first of all, we have established a full system uh, of, uh, uh, of a modern system, if I may say so, the most modern system in Europe, which was dealing with illegal uh, immigrants. First, uh, we have set up a new asylum service. We have set a new reception service Together with the uh, IOM in Geneva, we have set a full system of returns, of voluntary returns. And on the other hand, we do whatever we can to help those uh, unlucky people. But please, on the other hand, let me be clear on one thing. Greece has the right to control its borders, and Greece is a, a European country, and Greece cannot become a transit point from, for illegal migrants that just wish to pass through and go to the European Union. Again, that is also unacceptable. And do you fear a backlash against your crackdown from the Golden Dawn supporters? No, madam, I do not, for a very simple reason, that I believe that the government, the prime minister, has the full backing of the vast majority of the Greek society. I think that many people, uh, well, many people, I mean a huge amount, but not uh, that much has voted for Golden Dawn because of the issues you mentioned before, high unemployment and, and, and the economic crisis. But on the other hand, uh, we were able to reveal now to the Greek society the true nature of that party, which, uh, as I said before, is a criminal organization. And I believe that the following of that party will greatly diminish as the truth become apparent to the Greek society. Well, we wish you good luck, sir. Minister Dendias, thank you very much indeed for joining.